Hello viewers, welcome to this exciting video. In this video, we will be looking at the November 2021 Science Paper 1, question B6. Question B6 reads, the following diagram shows an ultrasound source sending a sound wave into the human body. The following diagram shows an ultrasound source sending a sound wave into the human body. So we have our diagram there. Okay. So we've got we've got an ultrasound source somewhere there. Then we've got flesh. Okay. Point X. We've got flesh. Point Y. And between X and Y, they're saying this is bone. Okay. Then flesh again. So. <clears throat> Let's look at what the question is saying. The question is saying, the question is saying, the total time for the ultrasound to travel in the bone from X to Y and back to X is nine times 10 to the power six seconds. So nine times 10 to the power negative six seconds then they are saying, what does the term ultrasound mean? What does the term ultrasound mean? Okay, the term ultra means way above something. But way above what? Okay, so the term ultrasound just means that sound with a frequency above the highest audible frequency for human uh hearing so the highest like the maximum limit a human being can ever hear is 20,000 hertz so any sound above 20,000 hertz is classified as ultrasound so we can simply just say that this is sound with a frequency greater with a frequency greater than 20,000 hertz that's all okay this is sound with a frequency greater than 20,000 hertz. That is ultrasound. Okay? B. If the speed of the ultrasound in bone is 400, 4,100 meters per second, calculate Z, the thickness of the bone. If the speed of the ultrasound in bone is 4,100 meters per second. Calculate Z, the thickness of the bone. All right. Now, uh, let's get back to this one. They are saying that the time, the total time taken for sound to move from X to Y right? and back to X and back to X is... 9 times 10 to the power, uh, negative 6 seconds. So, they are saying that Z is the thickness. So, uh, allow me to just do this. So, if this is Z, our thickness, then sound will first travel. This is X, this is Y. Sound will first travel from X, will go this and cover a distance equal to z okay then sound will move from y and come back to x covering another distance z okay here the total distance covered by the sound so distance in this particular case will be equal to 2z okay 
the total distance covered by the sound in a time of uh, 9 uh, times 10 to the power negative 6 seconds is equal to 2z. So we have, we have these, these data presented to us. So we know, we know that speed is equal to distance over time. Okay, but our distance is equal to 2z and our time is equal to 9 times 10 to the power negative 6 mm, seconds and our speed is equal to 4100 meters per second. So we, can, we have all this, we have all this information, we can just... Uh, put it into, into the equation and solve. So we are going, we're going to have uh, 4,100 is equal to 2z divided by uh, 9 times 10 to the power negative 6. Okay? So uh, we just now do the... Mm, the manipulation. So 1 multiplied by 2z, 4100 multiplied by 9 times 10 to the power negative 6. So to make work easy for me, uh, relatively easy, I'll convert the 4100 into uh, scientific notation, which is going to give me uh, the decimal point to move 1, 2, 3. So it will be 4.1 times 10 to the power positive 3. Then multiply by, since it's the cross multiplication, uh, multiply by 9 times 10 to the power negative 6, okay, is equal to 2z. All right. So <clears throat> here, what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to just use a bit of mathematics. And uh, I'll say that uh, uh, since we've got 10 to the power, 10 to the power, so we're going to say 4.1 multiply by 9, then times 10, because these, these are indices, okay, we are multiplying, so they add, so it will be 3 uh, minus 6, so 3 plus negative 6, which is negative 6, so this will give me, uh, this will give me negative 3, and this side, 4.1, multiplied by 9 which is 36.9 36.9 so it gives me 36.9 so I'm going to have uh, 36 point okay this is equal to 2z we can't leave it hanging like that so this is 36.9 let me just verify yes 36.9 so it is going to be 36.9 times 10 to the power negative 3, okay, times 10 to the power negative 3 is equal to 2z over 2 over 2. So we're going to divide that by 2. So the 2 goes, we remain with z. So uh, allow me to, to use the space under that. So we'll have z is equal to 36.9 divided by 2. So that divided by 2, which is 18.48. 18.48. 18.48. So z is equal to 18.48 times 10 to the power negative 3. And these are meters. All right. Uh, the power here can be removed by moving the decimal place three times. Uh, three times going to the front. So if I did that, I'll have one, two, three. So they should be a zero here. So it means that Z will be equal to 0 0.01848 meters. So that is my Z. 
so this is 0 0.018 meters okay so that is uh, that is the thickness all right we proceed we proceed mention one mention another use of ultrasound other than medical use so here they don't want any use to do with the hospital medicine and and so on because we know that most people are going to rush and talk about uh for scanning pregnant women and so on and so forth so here they do not want all that so you need to talk about other things for example uh, it is used to measure the depth of um, of of the sea okay okay it is used to measure the depth of the sea by ships so ships will actually transmit okay they will transmit ultrasound and wait for it to to be detected and from there they can determine how how deep uh, the sea is so or it may be used in the same line in quality control to check for the thickness of of certain materials such as uh, metals uh, paper and so on and so forth so you can write any of those so i'll say it is used uh, to measure the depth of the sea And that's that's the end so if you are new to the channel please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell it is through that kind gesture that uh, will keep this channel running and you will always be notified in due course because thank you very much for watching. See you next time.